something happening here But what it is ain't exactly clear There's a man with a gun over there Telling me I got to beware I think it's time we stop Children, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down Arizona has become a major flashpoint in the national debate over the boundaries between religious freedom and discrimination. Uh, legislators there are pushing to enact a new law that would allow business owners to deny service to customers for religious reasons, mainly gays and lesbians. Today on the Fab Five Collab, I'm hoping to give you a roundup of the various religious liberty measures that are circulating in both Arizona and other state houses. But some deal specifically with the rights of businesses, uh, while others are really worded really very broadly. And, and in at least two states, the issue will probably go before voters as a ballot initiative. This Arizona bill, SB 1062, that is currently sitting on Governor Jan Brewer's desk uh, waiting to be either signed into law or vetoed, uh, is basically one of the worst pieces of legislation that I have ever read. How both houses in the state of Arizona passed this uh, without any reservation is way beyond me. I can't fathom uh, how they would think that they are acting in the best interest of their constituency. As a matter of fact, I think they have realized that they haven't. There are three senators, uh, specifically in the state of Arizona, that have now reneged on their original vote on this and said, oh, we made a mistake. We should not have voted for this bill. Uh, the reason that we did it is because we really didn't think that it would pass, so we voted on it so that we could stay out of the controversy. Because we've had controversy with our fellow Republicans in the uh, uh, state house before, so consequently uh, we know how that goes and we didn't want to get into it. We thought that it would have no chance, so we voted for it. Now, any state legislator that votes for a bill for reasons such as those that were given uh, doesn't deserve to have that position. You either stand up for what you really believe and vote the way you believe or you're absolutely useless. So consequently that's a very poor excuse and I really don't believe it. I think that they thought that they were going to do something, found out that you know there's uh, a lot of uh, backlash to what the uh, state has done and so consequently now they're sorry that they voted for it because it's put them in the spotlight not just in the United States but you know around the world they're starting to look even more stupid than they looked before and trust me they've looked stupid in the past because that state has done some doozy legislation in the past nonetheless this particular bill uh, sucks the big one and it's really nothing more than just a piece of discriminatory legislation so that somebody can say, we don't have to do business with gays because, you know, laws are changing. Judges are telling us that we uh, have to abide by law and uh, we can't discriminate because we, that's really what we'd like to do because the Bible tells us so. Um, in the state of Alabama, there is actually a bill that's being pondered there that would create what they call the Alabama Student Religious Liberties Act uh, to, quote, prohibit school districts from discriminating against a student or a parent on the basis of a religious viewpoint or religious expression in public schools. Uh, basically, what that would do is it would require school districts to allow religious expression in class assignments, coursework, artwork, whatever, and uh, not that some of that would be 
so bad as long as it was voluntary from the student. But, you know, with this written into law, this basically gives a teacher uh, carte blanche to say to students, I want it to be a religious exercise. Uh, in the state of Georgia, uh, lawmakers have introduced what they call the Preservation of Religious Freedom Act. Uh, it's uh, modeled after this 20-year-old federal law that sets a high legal bar for when the government may substantially burden an individual's exercise of religion. Uh, that's very similar to the Al Alabama law uh, that's being looked at right now. So then we have uh, over in the state of Idaho a uh, law or something that's being considered. Uh, they are considering this measure that would prohibit the government from denying, uh, revoking, or suspending any professional or occupational license or registration based upon actions involving the exercise or expression of sincerely held religious beliefs. And so uh, Idaho is waiting in the wings to see what it can do with that. Then, of course, there's Kansas. We all know what happened in Kansas uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, they introduced a measure that would prohibit religious individuals or businesses from being required to serve customers or hire people if doing so would be contrary to their sincerely held uh, religious beliefs about sex or gender. Uh, it did pass the House on February the 12th, and it was referred to the Senate's Judiciary Committee. Uh, but the Senate Judiciary Committee made no intention of ever working on it, so it got dropped. Then we've got the state of Michigan, where lawmakers introduced a bill in December that would prohibit discrimination against a student or a student's parent on the basis of a religious viewpoint or religious expression. In Mississippi, the Mississippi Senate last month passed a statewide Religious Freedom Restoration Act. Um, that measure is similar to the ones that's being considered in other states, uh, but it would also change the state seal by inserting the phrase, In God We Trust, under the eagle. Uh, in the state of Oklahoma, the state's Religious Viewpoints uh, Anti-Discrimination Act, which passed the Oklahoma House this month, uh, would impose new requirements on school districts to ensure that students who express religious viewpoints are treated the same as other students, and the Senate is now considering that. The state of South Dakota. A dozen South Dakota lawmakers uh, sponsored a bill that was introduced uh, in late January that would shield businesses from civil liability uh, that refuse to serve or hire a person based on sexual orientation. A mean, nasty, hateful, vindictive bill, the Senate Judiciary Committee in that state did vote to quash it this time. The state of Tennessee. Tennessee lawmakers in both houses introduced a measure that would allow religious business owners to deny service or refuse to employ people if doing so would violate their beliefs. The bill has stalled after some sponsors abandoned it. That's good. Then in the state of West Virginia, where they're still reeling from all this coal toxin spill stuff into their rivers and all over the place, uh, legislators there uh, proposed a West Virginia Religious Freedom Restoration Act in January. Uh, the lower house in West Virginia unveiled this separate bill to protect students from religious discrimination. Uh, the measures haven't advanced beyond the committee stage, but they're sitting there, waiting. And then even in my own state here, the state of California, there is a pastor of a church here that's uh, behind a ballot effort that would protect individuals from any action that would violate their liberty of conscience. Uh, the, that's conscience based on biblical authority. So he's wanting to get enough signatures to put that on the ballot as a referendum or an initiative. And uh, we'll wait to see how that goes. Also, in the state of Oregon, a conservative group there is seeking to get an initiative on the Oregon ballot 
uh, that lets voters decide whether to allow business owners to opt out of participating in a same-sex commitment ceremony uh, based on their religious belief. Now, I gave you all of this information because uh, it's important to understand how many of these initiatives and measures and bills are being considered. Uh, whether or not they have passed so far in any of these states is not as concerning as the fact that they were introduced in the first place which means discrimination is on the tips of the tongues of the very people who make our laws in many of the states of this nation. Now, currently, uh, we're exasperated over what's happened in Uganda. Uh, it's against the law to be homosexual in Uganda, and they will put you in prison for it. Uh, what's more disconcerting about that is that that very law was actually put together by some American influence. Actually, a lot of American influence. This particular one got pushed, added to the agenda for their uh, government there, passed, and now signed into law. Now you think, oh, well, that's so far away and it wouldn't, you know, really happen to us. You know, considering the fact that there are so many states right now that are making considerations that would discriminate against you and me simply because of who we are, I think we should be concerned about that. Just because they haven't passed yet, just because currently the Supreme Court has basically struck down so many of these applications that they're trying to get passed doesn't mean that sometime in the very near future it couldn't happen. Uh, I'm very concerned about it. That's uh, I guess about all that I can say about it right now because I know this video is very long. Um, we'll probably be talking more about this as things unfold but uh, hopefully uh, I have filled you in on something that you didn't know. Put any comments, concerns that you have, questions that you might have down in the comment section. Uh, next time we come on, uh, we'll try to get those answered for you if uh, we can. So it's time for me to go, and I will be back with you again next week. Rascal Rich, bye-bye.